They lie, they cheat, they hurt, they deny, they gaslight, they project, they twist the truth, they stonewall, they give you the silent treatment, they threaten to abandon, they discard, they devalue, they hoover you back. Basically, a narcissistic person will emotionally manipulate anyone. But how can they do this? How can they be so emotionally manipulative and so incredibly toxic and have it completely unfaze them? How can they go through life knowing that they have hurt other people? Because you know they know. By the time they're minimally 30 years old, someone has told them, right? And how does it not matter? Why do they not care? My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from and transform your life after toxic narcissistic relationships. So let's look at that. I mean, the obvious answer is they have no empathy. When someone has no empathy, they experience life very differently. Some of the effects of not having empathy are things like they invalidate and dismiss anyone else's point of view, especially if that point of view conflicts with theirs. This causes them to dismiss any hurt, any feelings, any experiences that you have in your truth. They can dismiss that because it didn't happen to them that way. Does that make sense? They can't relate. When a person lacks empathy, when they truly lack empathy, they do not experience the feelings of remorse for hurting another person. They simply don't have any reaction. Lack of empathy causes a narcissistic person to struggle to understand other human beings' situations in life and other human beings' points of view. They struggle to understand it, so they deny it. They get angry at it. They, you know, there's all kinds of things. And keep watching because I'm going to talk about another point here besides empathy, which is in combination, what causes the narcissistic person to not care and be unfazed when they hurt you. I know that when you love someone and you see this truth about them, it can be devastating. It can give you a sense of both hoping for change and the reality that this change won't happen at the same time. And it can be really conflicting to people. So if you need help, coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the information in the main description of every video. Send me an email, whatever it is, all the info's down there and we can get you some help to get you healing from this toxic relationship that you might be in. So all of that lack of empathy, it is a reality for them. It is not something that can be trained into them, something that they can suddenly awaken. It's not because they're shut down and behind it, they have all these feelings for others. No, and here's why. A narcissistic person also has a grandiose sense of self. They wear a mask, an egotistical, self-serving mask that they believe they are superior to others. That superiority to others, even in a vulnerable narcissist, they still feel entitled and superior to others. They just do it under the mask of self-abasing or victim, right? So they feel at their core that they are more important than other people. You see, the two things work together, the lack of empathy and the delusions of grandeur and the self-serving ego, so to speak. Those work together to create an I don't care attitude. Some of the things that grandiosity creates in a person with narcissism is, as I said, the superiority, the sense of inflated self, entitlement, toxic overconfidence, toxic charm, willingness to exploit others for self gain. Remember, all of this is the mask they wear. It is what they need to believe as who they are. It's what, it's what drives the need to create the mask that they project into the world so that other people see them in a certain way. They can't take time to care about you. Even if they did have an ounce of care for another person, where would they have the time to care about anything but themselves with all of this going on? Stop trying to relate to the narcissistic person from a place of empathy and try to understand it very logically that this is how they function, this is the way their brains work, and that this is how they are going to be in relationships with others. I know that